Hi everybody and welcome to my home study. As you can see it is full of paperwork from rationale, treatments, abstracts, career plans and of course not forgetting good old philosophy books. This is the first of many video diaries for you to watch and follow my process of the making of my documentary The Blow-Ins. I suppose from September and over the last few months looking back at the, the, the process of, for the making of the documentary it's been pretty challenging. I had some really good guidance from lecturers and um, the structures really probably came together more when I've been visiting Dingle and talking to people. I had no idea of the, th the themes um, no idea how I was going to structure the documentary but certainly over the last few months with brainstorming, mind mapping, uh, meeting so many different people they've really given me some great ideas. So my themes are, are going to be belonging, community and identity at the moment although from talking to people in Dingle the belonging and the identity was really really strong focus point some of the people I've met in Dingle, like this guy Tony Fazio is an Italian stonemason, absolutely captivating uh, listening to him about his life in Italy and, and his last 20 years in, in Dingle. This is the, the, the kind of initial trailer for, for uh, my documentary, um, trying to give people a taste of, of who, who I've been speaking to and their thoughts on community identity and belonging. Um, so I'll just play a little bit of that anyway. What I'm trying to do is also incorporate metaphors throughout the documentary. Um, so, as I said, this is the preliminary trailer. Literally, I think I was brought by the wind. On St. Stephen's Day, mm -hmm. uh, every, basically everyone in Dingley gets dressed up. It's some, it's a day where Aoife Granville, she was talking a lot about the red and how it, important it is, um, especially for the young men and their identity. A uh, very interesting lady. Um, while I Elizabeth McCallaghy, um very much um, felt embarrassed when she first moved into Dingle because she couldn't speak the Irish language. That's going to be a real strong focus point um, to put into the into the documentary as well. And then we had her husband Louis. Um, he talked about learning the Irish language because he felt that he could cause a lot of damage by employing people in the area if they couldn't speak the language. This guy, um, Earthwank, he's from Switzerland and moved over 10 years ago. He married an Irish lady and he gave me a really good explanation on what it's like living within an, an Irish family and marrying into Irish. Um, and how important it was to keep his identity and um, sometimes he, he gets annoyed because he can't behave the way he would in his home country in Switzerland and he said it took him about seven years to actually adjust. Now with all these people I really want to challenge myself and them and, and tease out some, some other questions and get down to the the raw, the negative side, the, the challenges that they've all faced living down there because it's not all pretty and I certainly don't want to make the documentary like a tourist video at all. Um, I want the, you know, there to be the both sides, I think that's very important. Anyway, it's January the 1st 2013 and every so often I will put some video blogs up so you can see the process and understand the documentary a lot more and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye.